So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be working on a Rock Blaster 2.0. The Rock Blaster 1.0 has got many views over the past month, so we decided to make Rock Blaster 2.0. It is a more enhanced version with a shop of, of the Rock Blaster 1.0 game. You can use the shop logic for other games as well. And I will be uploading these sprites in the um, description below. So just click show more and then you can download it from our Google Drive. And then we will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Uh, we'll be learning variables, repeat until loops, broadcast messages, touching other sprites, controlling the sprites with keys, custom blocks, and a custom sprite. Uh, and let's get in. So I'm just going to go into the So Rock Blaster, I'm gonna um, go full screen. So I gave myself some extra money so I can show you. So you just shoot, I added some extra aliens and all that stuff. And when you press P, it pauses the game and there's a shop and you can click on the shop. We just drew a shopping cart. And then you can buy different things. Like there's a scatter shop, you can buy that. Force fields, you can buy 500 each that you can buy different skins and then the force field will go up by the every time you buy it and you buy a different skin let's say i select this skin like it's a blue spaceship and you can click f for force field so then it'll protect you and for five seconds yeah and then you have the scatter shot shoots triple this will protect you for five seconds so it's pretty cool and then you can also get other other skins, like this one. Like that. See, it's pretty cool. And then when you die, or just say game over. So that's pretty much the game. So I'll let's start a new project. So first we'll make some variables. We'll make some variables to our um, game. So we, we can delete the scratch cat for now. We will not need that. We'll delete the my variable. We do not need that as well. We will just make the money for now. Money, that's to buy stuff. And we will get the um, speed. Um, we'll need some more variables later in the future for um, like buying stuff. We'll need variables. So I have these all in my backpack. So I have the two spaceships. So I accidentally didn't put all of these. I only got a couple of them. So let me just drag all these in. So for the rock sprite, I have some costumes along with it. These uh, I got this from the sprite library, but these three are from online. You can just get whichever uh, cost uh, costume or like alien you want, and then you can just put it in here. And then you can use the magic eraser tool from 2.0 to erase the white background. So you can watch our video on that if you want to learn how to do that. And then um, for here we have we have we just have blue and red one, and then we have this this skin, and then uh, we have the laser with triple shot and the single shot. So for triple shot, we just like duplicated two of them on each side, and then next we have the game over one. Nothing too special about this one, and the shopping cart. This represents the shop, I guess. And we drew that by using, by just drawing a line, 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 line. And you can just draw your own shopping cart like we did, or you can just get one from online like we did. Uh, we just drew this, yeah. So you can draw one if you want. And then we have the exit button, just a circle, and then we wrote exit. And then we have the nebula background. So what we did was get the backdrop from here, nebula. So we got the nebula backdrop from here. Then we uh, convert to vector, copy, control C, and then we paint a new thing and then control V. So that's how we uh, put that as a sprite. Um, and then after that, we have the pause button. So when you press P, I was thinking that if you press P, it'll pause the game and then the shop will open. So um, all what we did was just draw a circle with two lines to make look like a pause button. Then we have the this. This is just like 
the button to buy the buy the spaceship and each shot you hit an enemy is a hundred points so this is not that much actually and then we have the sh uh, force field um sprite and uh, I taught you guys how to do that in the other video the uh, uh two player uh, space shooting game so if you want to learn how to do that then you can watch that video but what we did was just draw a circle without with with outline and then erase this part and this part to make it look like a force field and then we have this um, this one is not really purchasing this is the default uh, spaceship skin but if you want to switch back to the default spaceship skin then you can just click on this that's what we did and then this is the other cool spaceship skin looks pretty good this one and then this is the purchasing the um, force field 500 each and the code for this one's a bit different because you have to you can buy multiple at a time and then you have the tr scatter shot which is 5,000 points okay so that's all of the sprites right here so let's start with the player so I'm just gonna Go to the red costume because you always want to start with that one first. So when flat clicked, we want to set the money to zero, since um, in the in the beginning you don't want them to have some money left over. So we're gonna set it to zero, and then we want to switch the costume to costume one. Red costume. So this is red costume, blue costume, and cool costume. Okay. So I set it to the first one because uh, this is the default skin. And then we will broadcast a message called start game. Start game. And then when I receive start game, then we can go to the front layer. Let's go to the front layer. So this goes front, and then we want it to go back a little bit. So we want to go back backwards. Let me zoom in a little. So we want to go backwards, back 10 layers. So it won't go, it'll go back a little bit. And then we want to set the size to 40%. Um, this is already 40% because I got it from my backpack, but if it isn't for you, then just set it to 40%. And I'm actually not sure if they still have this spaceship in 3.0 scratch, but if they don't, then uh, you can just get one from online. Um, but this is from 2.0, I'm pretty sure. And then, in the beginning, I wanted to make it go to negative 180, Y, 0. And they get a forever loop. This is for the movement. Forever. If. We're only doing the up and down arrow key. So if up arrow key is pressed, then we can change the Y by 10. We just duplicate this. If the left arrow, I mean down arrow is clicked, then we'll go down by negative 10 change the y by negative 10 and then uh, we'll also need a uh, and that's it for now so this is just the movement so as you can see you can move up and down now so that's what we have and then next we can work on the um, aliens and the space rocks and whatever you want to call them so let's make a new block called create enemies create enemies Click OK. So we're going to have to define this real quick. I want to make it go to the back layer because um, I had this bug earlier where um, the aliens would show up when you're in the store because it's not all the way in the back layer. So you want to make it go to the back layer. Switch costume to the rocks. That's just the first default costume. And then you can show. Set size to 50%. So I'm pretty, this is already 50%. But if it isn't already, then you can set it to 50%. And then I'm going to repeat five times since there's five costumes, as you can see. Five costumes. And then I'll do next costume. Create a clone of myself. So change the costume while creating clones. And then hide down here and then I want to set the X to like 99999 so the original uh, the original sprite will be off the screen and then we can when I start as a clone 
when I start as a clone, we wanted to go to pick random. So we're just doing this to give it a little bit more uh, a variation to the game. So pick random. So I'm going to do pick random 180 to 240. And then for the Y, I'm going to do negative 150 to 150. So it's going to be like somewhere around here and here. It'll spawn somewhere near the edge. So then um, remember the speed variable. We want to set the speed. Speed to pick random, negative 4 to negative 7. We're doing negative because they're moving to the left. I did negative 4, negative 7 because I think that's the right speed. It's pretty good. So we're going to repeat until. Repeat until touching the player, touching player, and then we'll change the X by the speed, so it'll go whatever number it is, so like if the speed is four, uh, negative 4, then it'll go negative 4 steps, so change X by the speed, and then if the X position is less than negative uh, 220, so like somewhere around here, if it's less than that position. So if the x position is less than negative 220, then we'll make it go back, go back to this position. So I'm just going to duplicate this, put that in here. And um, that's all we have for now. And then we also want to do this when I receive start game. We want to call the um, this block right here, this uh, script right here, I'll call this, so then it'll actually spawn some stuff. So now I will play it. So I'm going to show you guys now the demo, but first I'm going to hide these because they're a bit distracting. And so as you can see, they are uh, moving around like that. And they're spawning, but if you touch it, you'll stop them. Because uh, we have not done anything to do uh, take damage yet or lose, so now we have the spawning and the movement down. Uh, in the next video, we'll probably work on the laser and maybe the shop. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.